guys welcome to part 5 of my lace frontal series in this episode I'll be showing you how to get bouncy curls first you start by putting in a heat protector and hair oil so I'm just putting this all through the hair step 2 you section the hair step 3 you use the hot comb you could use a regular comb if you don't have a hot comb and I'm just putting on my gloves here and then with a the curling worm I'm gonna be using these pins as well I wrap the hair with the wand. So if you see the way I wrap the hair, I'm wrapping it flat. So I'm not twisting the hair, I'm wrapping it flat. So I'm not spiraling it, I'm doing it flat. And I'm wrapping it down. And I count to 20 and then I remove it. And the next step is to pin the curl. And what this does, it kind of keeps the curls in place for longer. So if you want bouncy, long lasting curls, you pin the curls. So I've just done the same thing till I got to the top of the hair. So I kind of comb with a hot comb and then I wrap the hair flat like so. I'm not twisting the hair, I'm trying to make it as flat as I can on the one like so. Going down And I count to 20 and then I let go and the next step really is to pin the curl so it kind of holds on to the hip and then I pin it and I put it in place with a pin like so so I decided to do like a half and half so I'm kind of packing my hair up or the wig up and then I'm just putting in some um, sealants to make it smooth. All products I've used will be in the description bar below. So check out the description for the products. So I'm just wrapping it through. I'm using these products to make it very slick. And I'm using my band, my rubber band to kind of hold the front there. And this is my hairspray. I'm just going to use one part of the hair there and just wrap it around like so. I'm going to use this hairspray and also got to be hairspray as well to kind of hold it in place and then I'm going to continue coiling the hair so again just like I did earlier I'm just going to wrap it around flat like so on the wand try not to twist the hair when you do this don't spiral don't twist just make it as flat as possible on the wand and then I leave it for 20 minutes, count to 20, and then I call it, pin it. So I pin it up. So if you leave the curls down, it's gonna curl, but it might not last as long as when you call it, pin, or when you pin curl, whatever, I don't know which comes first, but pin curl is what they call it. And it just makes it stay, stay in place, and it lasts longer as well. Because what it's doing is trapping the heat in. So I count to 20, I let go and put a pin in. So I'm just gonna continue like so. I use the hot comb and use my one like so. And this technique tends to give you the bounciest curls ever. So it just makes it really bouncy and fluffy. So I'm kind of wrapping it towards the top now. So I'm wrapping it towards the front because we've got to kind of the top. So if you see, I'm going the other way now when I'm wrapping it. When you get near to, the, near to the top, you kind of wrap in the opposite direction.
end of coiling the hair I'm just gonna leave the pins on for about 20 minutes and then and that's it so after 20 minutes start taking off the pins and the curl just flows So there's the final look guys, I just kind of fluff it out with my hands and yeah you get bouncy curls, long lasting curls like so. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and check out part 6 for the install. So I'm going to be installing this hair, so check out part 6 on how I install this hair. Thanks so much, bye!